If you're after a big Chromebook and I'm talking about the largest available with 17.3 inch displays, then you're probably trying to decide between these two, the Asus CX1700 and the Acer 317. In this video, I'll show you their most important differences and also link to my other videos on them to help you further. I've detailed the exact models of each of these I have in the video description and you'll see why as we go through the key differences between them, things become a little complicated, especially because of the configurations out there, particularly of the Asus. I've essentially got the two lowest spec models of both and whilst there's some similarities like both having 4GB of RAM and the Intel Celeron N4500 processor, meaning updates till June 2030, there are some key differences and I'm going to take you through seven of them. First off, let's talk build quality and weight. The Acer comes in at 2.15kg, that's about 4.74 pounds, whilst the Asus somehow comes in heavier at 2.4kg, that's more like 5.29 pounds. That's a fair difference, even though you may not plan to travel as much with these larger Chromebooks, it's worth keeping in mind. The Acer comes in this silver, which they call sparkly silver, or there's also a darker titanium grey, whereas I have the Asus in what they call transparent silver, but in some regions and specs there's also a mineral grey colour. Although they're both large plastic Chromebooks, the overall build quality of the Acer feels better to me. The Asus is like a larger version of the CX1500 that I tested and reviewed, and it has that similar rough plastic on the bottom. I'll link to my video review of that CX1500 in the description too, so you can check that out. For the second area, it's ports and connectivity, pretty similar here. Both machines have dual USB-C and A and a micro SD card slot, but the Acer also has a Kensington lock port. The third area is the key internals. So for the processor on the Asus and on the Acer, you can get the N4500 Celeron, as well as the Pentium Silver N6000 processor. These are the specs available for the UK machines. In the US for Asus, you can actually also get the N5100 processor on some of them. And again, as mentioned, if we look at the Acer, you've just got that mix, I believe, worldwide of either the Pentium Silver N6000 or the Intel Celeron N4500 like I have on the machine here. RAM and storage can also really vary. So in the UK, we just get 4 gig of RAM with any of the Asus models and 128 gig of storage. In the US, there's a bit more choice. There's an 8 gig of RAM uh, models or model, and there's also a mix of storage. You might get 64 or just 32 gig of storage or back to the 128 gig. And for the Acer, I think it's a bit more stable. So you can get 8 gig of RAM models. You can get 4 gig of RAM models that are more common, like the one I have. And the memory, I think, is either going to be 64 gig minimum or 128 gig. If you think there's something different in your region or you can update me on any of this, please drop a comment comment down below as it'll be useful for others too. The fourth area to look at is the display, possibly the most important. So for the Acer, it's pretty straightforward. It's going to be a full HD IPS screen and it's either touch or non-touch. I've got the non-touch version. I really like it, especially when you see it against the Asus model that I have. That's got a weird HD plus resolution. It's 1600 by 900 and worse still, it's TN. So it looks far weaker and washed out as you can see here. However, there are models of the Asus that are full HD and are IPS like the Acer but there's no touch option, I don't believe. So do pay attention to what you're buying or what you're looking at when you're comparing these two in terms of the screen. The fifth area to compare are the keyboards and trackpads. Now, both keyboards feature dedicated number pads, as you'd expect with Chromebooks of this size. The Asus also features the newer design for the everything button and the top row of function keys. Personally, when it comes to typing, I prefer Asus keyboard. It's got deeper uh, key travels, feels slightly more responsive. The Asus, on the other hand, has that shallow uh, clicky key travel, feels a bit less premium, uh, much more like the CX1500 that I tested, and it's got a bit of flex like that one as well. The trackpad on the Acer is taller whilst the Acer's trackpad is slightly wider and in terms of feel when tapping and clicking again the Acer just feels a bit more premium. The sixth area to compare is sound, and for me it's a no-brainer that Acer put the speakers on the keyboard deck firing up. Asus, on the other hand, put them on the bottom of the machine, but also have these very thin grills on the front. To me, the better sound comes from the Acer, slightly richer, slightly louder with them firing up, as I mentioned. Here's a sample of both, see what you think. Thank you. 
The seventh area to compare is going to be price, but that's really going to depend on your region and timing. Check out my Amazon affiliate links in the video description or my Amazon store to see both of these Chromebooks. And let me know in the comments which model you have or intend to go for. And if you haven't seen it, here's my full review of the Acer 317 Chromebook and my initial impressions of the Acer CX17 Chromebook.